Now, this is probably one of the quickest turnarounds for a band in a long time. Rammstein. For one, I want to thank every last one of y'all for kind of holding my hand and being so gracious and um, understanding of my very ignorant uh, just lack of comprehension of the German language. Um, I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. Um, but y'all was so understanding and so nice and so sweet about it. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, for those who've been, you know, watch me for a while, you know, I, I could be pretty stupid. So... <laughs> I appreciate y'all for just being nice about it. But anyway, this is in jail. Like in jail. But like, well, yeah. At least that's how I'm going to assume. I'll do the song research afterwards and get the proper pronunciation. But this is live from Madison Square Garden. Now, I'm just going to buckle up. I'm not even going to try to prep my brain for what's about to happen because after that first reaction, I don't know what to expect. And I thank y'all again for giving me so much um, insight on everything I missed. So y'all told me the DJ, he was on a treadmill. He does 15 miles of performance. That's nuts. Um, y'all told me that the lead singer... Um, that, w that wasn't blood on any of them. That was pyro techno jail, um, to protect them from the pyro and all the fire and stuff that makes so much sense. Um, y'all told me that didn't represent jail, their backup and their, their set on stage. Um, it, it was, um, kind of a nod to their style of rock, industrial rock. I just I, I thank y'all for all the, the info y'all gave me. I, I really, really appreciate it because I had so many questions and I was like just so in the moment. I really didn't process anything. So I appreciate y'all for just being so nice and, and holding my hand through this. But um, and y'all told me they were just here in the States and they are a very tough ticket to get because y'all said when they did come here this year. They sold out in Madison Square Garden in 25 minutes, I think I read. 25 minutes, which is insane. So, I could believe, just for the show alone, again, I can't understand a word they're saying. I don't know what they're talking about. And just for the show, just for the spectacle, I would watch. That's how amazing that last performance was. So I'm buckling up and I'm just, I'm ready to see what's about to happen, man. Let's go. America. Ich will kein Engel 
I was wondering that. I said, yo, is that them actually whistling? That, yo, may seem in- insignificant, and I'm probably paying too much attention to stuff that probably doesn't even matter. That's impressive. To whistle on key, in pitch, in unison, because it seems like it seemed like all four of them, all four on bass and guitar, were whistling, but they only really like showed two of them. But it seemed like all four of them. That's impressive. To whistle, it's one thing to sing in key, but like whistling, at least for somebody that whistling doesn't come natural for. Like, I've never been good at whistling at all. So that's impressive. Now, I got to ask the obvious. These wings, for one, they look heavy as shit. I mean, this doesn't look like some like plastic bottles that some This looks like some freaking I can't wait to see what he does with this. If he takes flight mid performance and flies over the crowd on some Beyonce Tinkerbell shit, I swear to goodness. If he's about to fly over this crowd with nothing but that little cord that's tied to him, yo. hard whatever sound that keyboard just produced that was hard at first I thought he I thought he was mixing but then he he was on the keyboard and he's still walking that's crazy yo 15 miles in a performance while you're playing two or three keyboards surrounding you that's crazy I almost trip and fall on a treadmill when I'm just walking and playing in fitness. Playing three instruments trying to do that? That's crazy. Now, I got to assume this has something to do with the song. And in jail, I'm going to it can it can't be angel in German, right? Uh, I'm not even going to say that. I shouldn't have said it. I shouldn't have said it. But the wings and the fuck, I, I gotta assume what they're singing about has something to do with this. I can't wait to the song, so I can do song research to find out what's going on. But again, yo, so he pretty much has a flamethrower, two of them on his back right now. So there's no way he's flying. There's no way that thing is a flamethrower and 
it could actually lift him up off the ground. So that might be out the question. But having a flamethrower on your back, two of them, with these big wings on your sh- that's crazy. I mean, he looked like a big, strong dude, but that's crazy. That's a show, man. I'm trying to tell you, I don't understand nothing. But I understand magic when I see it. I understand extra I I can tell an an amazing performance. Um I can tell an amazing performance when I see it. But let me let's go straight to this uh to the song information because I got to know what they was talking about. Angels. It does mean angels. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm so, I'm so dumb. Okay. It is angels. It's a song by German industrial metal band Rammstein. Okay. Or Rammstein, I'm sorry. Uh, The female part of the song's chorus is sung by Christiane Bobo Habold of the German pop band Bobo and White Wooden Houses. According to an interview, keyboardist Christian Lorenz, Lorenz, came up with the main riff for this song on a synthesizer along with a whistle melody. That synth- uh, synthesizer thing he did, 
his his like little solo that was amazing. That might have been my favorite part of the song. Out of everything I talked about, I talked about everything but the song. The song is fire. Again, their beats can't understand a word they saying, but the beats alone, I just be head nodding. I mean, that's the thing about good music. You don't have to understand it. You really don't. Good music, if it sounds good and feels good, you almost don't even need. I'm not going to say you don't need the lyrics, but you just know what feels good, even if you don't understand it. It's like reggae, Latin American music, like. I don't understand half of it, and it just feel good. When I listen to Bob Marley, I don't understand half of what Bob Marley be saying. But when he gets to emancipate of alpha mental slavery, whoa, like I just be feeling it. I just be feeling it. I feel. I ain't gonna lie. I'm feeling Rhymestein. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie. Um, Motor Records. I would really love... I got to do more research on them. Motor Records. Motor Records. Okay. It didn't do anything in the States, but it went number three in Germany. It's gold in Germany. It went gold. I like this. I like this a lot. Oh, on their second album released in April 1997, their first single. Yeah. Again, I'm sure I'm sure that this is probably one of those situations where the music video might have gave given me more context. But now that I see Angels and I get it. I understand the concept, the wings, the fire, everything. I get it. I get it. And y'all let me know in the comment section what the song is about. But I get, now that I see angels, I get the wings and everything. The whistling, all of that. I get it. That was fire. Literally. And, like, what I love about them, they're so poised. Like a lot of bands and groups, when they have that much pyro and techno going, like, you know, fire and all this other stuff, it, it, like, they're a little bit, like, they seem so, like, nonchalant. Like, they know they enjoy it. They, like, they know you are enjoying yourself. They just be up there just doing it. I saw the, one of the guitarists on the, on the right-hand side. He was kind of getting into it. Going crazy. But for the most part, everybody like this. They just playing their guitar. Keyboard is up there doing his thing. He walking. Like, they just... And then Lisa... And y'all told me... What's what's my man's name again? Lee Singer's name. I, I forgot it that quick. I'm sorry. Uh, what's my man's name? What's my man's name? Uh, Till... Y'all told me Till has like, like a a very heightened level of stage fright. Like he hates performing in front of people. He seems so poised. And now that y'all mentioned it, I could see stiffness. But he does a very good job of staying poised and kind of embracing the moment. He does a very good job. I mean, for somebody with stage fright, and you know, as the lead vocalist, the the you you're always kind of like the center of attention. So for him to be able to do that and put on that great of a show, shout out to Till, shout out to Till, and he's a big dude. Just he's by far like the strongest lead singer I think I've ever seen. Almost like like a boxer or an MMA fighter or something. Like, big dude with these big wings on his shoulder and fire and all. That's incredible, man. That's 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 amazing. They got a great show. 
a really good show. That's 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 all I got on this one. Y'all again, y'all give me more info in the comment section about what the song was about and just give me more info in general. But shout out to Romstein, man. They are amazing. Amazing. We only two reactions in and both of those performances unbelievable. That, that that's all I got. That's all I got. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about it in the comment section. As always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, peace.